What were you like in high school? Particularly you, Jonathan. You started working very, very early. I did, yeah. As an actor, and you actually started in high school mm -hmm. acting as well. Mm -hmm. But when you weren't working, you were just in high school going to class, wanting to get invited to the party. What were you like? What were, you, what were Jonathan question. Bailey and Matt Bomer like in high school? Well, I, I think a lot of my understanding of Hawk and the stakes of his life come from my life in high school or what I perceived my life to be in high school because it was sort of a Friday Night Lights town. It, you know, the football game on Friday night was the social option. And I, I felt that if I was authentic to myself, then I wouldn't survive, whether that meant my life or whether that meant socially, whether that meant within my family. So the stakes for me were life and death in high school. I know that's a very dramatic thing to say, but that's how it felt to me. And, you know, you're a teenager, you're going through a lot of things. So I had kind of compartmentalized my life in a way. I was, you know, I, it bifurcated, really. I was a football player, but also did the musical, but kind of floated amongst social groups. I think I was a generally affable person who kind of got along with everybody, didn't make too much noise, and just thankfully when I was 18, started working in the uh, professional theater there in Houston and um, got a scholarship so that I could go to performing arts school and then just hope, got tried to get to a place where I found a tribe where I could be my most authentic self. What were you, Jonathan? Well, I mean, what were so you like? I was, I, yeah, I mean, no surprises really, but I, at 11, I remember saying to my friends, I was like, does anyone else think they're gay? <laughs> like, do you guys, guys at boys' school? I was like, it's surely, is this a normal thing? Obviously, it went quiet, and I didn't think much of it. And then three years later, it word got around, and it was just a day changed at school. And it, we had CCF, which is where you go off and you do like army. Um, Navy and the Royal Air Force and, and the boys had gone off on this coach and obviously one of the guys had told everyone that I, at aged 11 in year 7, had said that. Mm -hmm. And so my, my experience of school suddenly changed overnight and it suddenly became the most dangerous place. But I didn't, I didn't back away, really. I, I managed to find a couple of amazing, you know, theater, you know, it was acting, really, in theatre and being a nerd. I had a, uh, uh, you know, we were obsessed with making little videos, me and my best mate. Um, but yeah, I snogged loads of women. <laughs> well, not women, but you know, obviously my peers, <laughs> um, and I and I tried to 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 manoeuvre around that. But no, I just you know, luckily I've always gravitated towards the authentic people, and and they get you through. And and actually, you know, now it's about how do I let people know of that age that they're going to be okay because that's what I needed, yeah. um, and that's why representation I do think really matters. But yeah, so probably we sound probably quite similar to Tim and Hawk. I think I was always, yeah. yeah.